Uh, just want to begin by giving uh, Kent a lot of credit. I thought they were uh, really, really tough. Do I need to use this at all, Dan? Or not? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And this, right, Dan? Yeah. Okay. Um, I thought they were really, really tough and really physical, and I think we expected that. I don't know. We tried to prepare our guys for this, but I, I don't know that we expected it to be quite as fit. It's the most physical game we played in all. I, this in Cincinnati. Uh, I think Villanova's youth, you know, when you play an older team like like we played in both, you know, good athletes, Kent's one of the oldest teams in the country, um, and coaching staff does a great job. They do a great job with them. They play tough. They don't give in. Uh, Rob, Rob gets those guys really, really competing. We expected that. And to be honest with you, we needed we needed a game like this. Um, and uh, I give our guys the I give our guys the credit. I thought Andre's minutes in the second half were critical. Uh, and his ability to guard four who was really bothering us was critical. But I thought uh, DJ made some plays in transition that were important. I thought Caleb's kind of being able to play with Luther foul trouble and I thought uh, Luther getting to the free throw line in that stretch where we were struggling to score was, was critical and uh, Dwayne continues to play well. So, uh, you know, good good win for us. We need to play better, uh, we need to coach better, and we need to eliminate some of the um, poor plays we had. Chris, you touched on this a little bit, but what you said all along once your team, you're not going to learn things until you actually go through some adversity. This was the first real second half adversity you guys faced. What did you maybe start to learn about your team tonight? Well, I, I thought uh, I thought our guys, they were, our guys were unbelievable in the timeouts, talking, communicating. Uh, I was upset with some of the officiating calls. They actually were the ones that uh, probably had, had more composure and poise. That, that's important in a game like this. I do want to say this. This place was loud, and St. John Arena was fantastic. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to forget that. I, I did think that the energy of this place made a difference uh, in a stretch where we needed it. And, and I don't know what the numbers were tonight. I just know I'm glad we played a game like this that we knew was going to thought we could be competitive because our fans were unbelievable. And for Luther to, he had the, the free throws and then the other free throws once they tied it. Um, for him to step up in those moments and be willing to take those shots, we always talk about his defense, but where is he continuing to come along from an offensive standpoint to be the guy that ends up pushing you ahead there and starting that run? Yeah, I thought he was I thought he was really good in that stretch. Uh, primarily attacking with, with their ability to pressure us. His, his, he did a good job attacking, getting to the free throw line, being ready to catch and shoot. Um, I thought a couple times, in the, once in the first half, we took a, we took a lot of first side shots that were not great in the first half. Um, I thought we were a little antsy uh, in the first half and not nearly patient enough. Um, and it's something we've got to continue to work on because that that'll get us um, if we don't get better in that area. You guys were up by as many as 17, and they came back to tie it. What was the biggest reason you guys were able to overcome that run and kind of put away after that? I, I think our players, uh, we got we got critical stops when we needed to. Stops and first time rebounds. I thought that was uh, the difference in that stretch and then getting the free throw line like we did. And then uh, Kyle Young wasn't huge in the stat his column, but he drew a foul early on the big man, an offensive foul. He got that rebound going out of bounds. This kind of game, how, how big is his play? It's good. Yeah, it was good again. I thought he um, he got a shot blocked a few times. He he played against a guy tonight that, that we're gonna see in the Big Ten a lot. Length. That kid's a really good player. Pippen's a really good player, and um, that's where we've seen this, right? Kyle at times can struggle scoring over that kind of length and size, um, and he struggled a little bit with that tonight. Uh, but his effort was really good. And critical. What was some of the off-season conversations after last season with Dwayne and his shot selection? A lot of film, a lot of video. It's not a finished. Um, he's, he's not a finished product by any stretch when it comes to that. Neither is Luther. Both guys.
guys um, have to become more efficient. Uh, I do think probably consistent minutes has calmed Dwayne down a little bit when it comes to uh, you know his his thirst coming into the game wanting points, um, and that comes with a little bit of maturity. Uh, but his ability to drive the ball tonight, get to the get to the rim, uh, was critical for him. He, he obviously he's not a huge sixty percent from three point right. right. all season long. Are you happy with like the looks he's getting? What yes. Ball uh, for the most part, he. You know, a guy like that's always a difficult guy to coach at times. I love coaching. He's a tremendous kid. I love coaching. What I'm saying is finding that balance between efficiency and giving him freedom to be who he is. It's a hard balance sometimes as a coach to figure out um, how to best manage that. Um, it's a lot of film and a lot of honest conversations, but uh, we're still, obviously still figuring out. I see things change when you put maybe Luther first, and Andre, like you mentioned, on the floor after he got a little bit. That was the big difference. Um, uh, I thought we got attacked uh, off the dribble by him in the second half, really in the first and second half, uh, across the board, and he made, he made a couple threes. Um, and I thought uh, might might have been the difference in the game was Luther and Andre. Being able to just corral him a little bit and maybe start switching some more stuff. And then uh, I know I think we had three turnovers, but it, it seemed like EJ gave you some pretty good minutes when you had to play without Caleb and the one like test. I don't know if he had a block shot or anything, but just what did you think of the way he played in those moments? I think he's taking strides. We really needed him. Uh, taking strides. He did have some turnovers off charges. Uh, we got to make him, we got to get him making free throws a little better and shooting a little better. Um, tried to drive it tonight, got fouled a couple of times. I, I like the fact that in a game like this, he got to the line six times. Um, like we said, his development, some of our other young guys' development, including uh, Zoe and Justin that didn't play tonight, that's just going to be really critical for us as we go. And obviously, DJ, me and DJ. You only had seven pass break points, but seeing the case reverse the ball, just about every position. How are you balancing the Yeah, I thought we were too rushed tonight when we didn't have anything in our transition. And um, I just thought we were a little too rushed. We scored off a few of their turnovers, but we didn't score a whole lot off the defensive rebounds. Um, and then I thought we were a little bit impatient, and that's that's my fault. We've got, we've got to get better at that. There are a couple teams coming up with the schedule that might want to get on the track with you guys. Uh, I'm kind of wary of that. You know, that if you push the ball sometimes against the against, uh, team like Kent State, but yeah, I think we're I think we're gonna to have to get better at that for sure. Um, executing in the half court and also understanding how uh, having a better understanding of how we want to play in the half court uh, in terms of making teams. Uh, you know, this week. We gotta get better at that. Coach, uh, how important is it to get into another kind of rock fight? You know, at this point in the season, you know, you guys are what now six games in. It seems like the two toughest opponents have been for the in-state rivals, but still, you know, to get a game like this uh, from especially you know a Mac team in Kent State, how important is it for your guys and their growth and development? Well, the Max had a pretty good start to the year. It's Leo almost beat Notre Dame and Bowling Green beat Cincinnati last night. Akron uh, got it kept it close there. Uh, so, I, you're playing a team like this that has good players, that has older guys, that I think is going to win. Uh, seems like Rob every year wins about 18 to 22 or 23. Good for us. We needed it. Um, it was physical. We needed that. Um, and we now need to take and learn how to be better. Um, so, yeah. Good. A couple more. A couple more. Can I ask you about the suit? When we yeah. decide to wear it again, and we dust it off for yeah. more big games going forward. <coughs> um, if it was up to my wife, I'd wear it every game. Uh, she loves it. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I love playing games in this place. I like the throwback uniforms. This is my attempt at a throwback look, as bad as it is. Um, so I think I'm going to save it for St. Saint, Saint John every year. And, uh, uh, you know, it's kind of fun, fun going. Players talk about your drip at all? 
No, no, I think they're 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 used to it. The players talked about what uniforms they were going to wear. We had a conversation about what we're going to use in the gray, wear the throwback grays or the throwback scarlet. So they, they're more concerned about that. I did have CJ uh, Walker come up to me right before the game because it's the first time I guess he saw him. He goes, "That's a nice coach." <laughs> <laughs> that means something. I think we probably all have to be a little bit better with that, uh, uh, starting with me. I was frustrated with some of the officiating calls um, uh, on Caleb. I think we all have to manage our emotions a little bit better. Uh, but the players, honestly, were were probably better than me in that, in that way. Okay. Which players were standing up and And talking to me? Yeah. Um, it's, it's always Caleb, CJ. Andre, um, it's usually those, but we had Luther, Dwayne, DJ, we had a lot of guys talking. Last one right here. Uh, Caleb only plays 21 minutes and he picked up his fourth foul at a pretty critical juncture in the game. Yet, when you came back in, you guys had, had built a, a little bit of a lead back up. It just seems like really throughout these first six games, you, you guys have played well when he's not out there. And I'm like, what, what's your comfort level with that right now? We talked a lot about last year when he went out. It was a struggle. It just seems like you're, you're finding answers when well, I think that's that. That's maybe as big a question about our group as any. How, how do we play for long stretches with that, without him? That's maybe as big. And, and particularly, how do we how do we score and rebound uh, without him? And I think that's where other guys have to continue to get better. Because you ask Kent right now, who are you game planning for to stop? It's always going to begin with Caleb, and uh, that's what we can have other guys. We've got to find ways to, to uh, score. Another it's a work in progress. I think that's very much a work in progress. Very, very much. Um, can we do that consistently? Uh, I think it's, it's a question for you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah.